गाइस व्हाट्स अप रजत फ्रॉम वीएफएक्स वर्ल्ड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड वन मोर एक्साइटिंग ट्यूटोरियल सो गाइस टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन रिमूव सम मार्कर्स फ्रॉम योर फेस बाय यूजिंग न्यूक सो दिस विल बी अ लॉट ऑफ फन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट गेट स्टार्टेड So now we're in my system. So as you guys can see, this is my footage uh, which I already recorded, and uh, here's my uh, a co-member. Okay, so let's play this footage first. I already have uh, cut this much area, like 600 frames to 1400 frames. I cut it already. So the main footage, as you guys can see, uh, he moving his face uh, like uh, this direction, and from this to this. So. Uh, basically these markers are used for vfx purpose for face replacing or you can say for match moving purpose or any kind of tracking related data you can use this kind of markers okay so let's get started first of all let's uh, change this workspace from larger view because it's a very nice for compositing part and then select this by pressing tab on keyboard track a tracker node cra tk yeah tracker like this and uh, let's zoom this little bit because we have to concentrate on this markers and just press add track when you press add track a tracker marker a tracker will come and just go and adjust this tracker to i mean it's not adjust just align this tracker to this uh, you can say this white dot or that uh, <coughs> marker okay make sure this inside box is a tracker zone and the outside box is a area just uh, for safety purpose i just turn on this rns is transform rotation and scale just you can or uh, you uh, you can disable this but every time what i'm doing i just turn this to on okay the next thing is just go to the first frame make sure that your tracker should be in your first frame or last frame or else if you do this in any kind of in between then you have to track forward and simultaneously you have to track backward as well okay so now press this button this is uh, dedicated to like track forward like track to end for by using this key you can track automatically to the end so just let's press this key okay so now the track is happening as you guys can see is very fast and the moving is very cool okay uh, still now the track is uh, doing well i will get back to you when the track will be complete okay so now the track is completed this track is really done well now go to the first frame zoom in a little bit and next the most important part for this kind of work let's try something cool okay so now what i'll do just remove this like this and press o on keyboard and take a roto node connect this to here connect it to here just disable this one and select from here 10 to 1 because we don't want so many things here okay so now double click on this roto node select a bezier place a little harder and it will come like ellipse and just draw a ellipse like here and select and reposition it like this so now it's positioning well okay so now the next part is select this ellipse from output channel it should be in rgba now see it's uh, coming white now go to the shape panel and the source should be foreground so the basic idea is we have to change the offset okay i'll show you now we have to connect this tracking information to this roto i mean uh, roto area okay so how to connect this together just double click on this tracker node go to this transform properties and just go to this first frame and click set to current frame because your reference frame should be this first one it means it's almost like uh, you are doing a freeze kind of frame the first frame okay so next the transform properties from none to where it is uh, match move okay now all set to go select this translate uh, option and uh, this option go to right click and copy copy animation and then double click on this roto node 
select this ellipse layer go to this uh, transform properties and translate right click paste paste absolute okay next the same thing go to this tracker select the center right click copy animation go to this roto select this ellipse layer and right click paste absolute now what happened let's show you disable this select this roto double click now see the roto node is moving with this marker it means the tracking information is now on this roto node properties okay so our 99% work is done let's go to the last 1% work which is the most favorite part of mine double click on this roto node select this roto go to this shape and then clone layer select this translate node and just increasing these values when you increasing these values this is the x position it means this is uh, offset changing because we are now see the offset is moving right so just uh, change this offset as much your requirement and then your work will be finally completed just go to this one and change this offset slightly and from here it's like this just being like this okay it's not cool now when you disable this one see this a hard line is coming here okay so for this double click on this roto node select this one drag it press a on keyboard for alpha zoom in a little bit and just select all together and increase it like this so it means it's feathering out and just go to this roto node feather properties decrease this feather first and then increase the feather fall off so it means the feather is going really well now press a on keyboard again now if you see right now you can't see those hard patches are now press f on keyboard for fit to screen and now when you play this complete footage you can't see the whole markers here the whole footage the marker is removed so this is a cool technique guys by using this simple way that how to remove this markers from your face by using the same method you can remove all those markers from your faces like i have this all faces markers yet Hopefully you like this tutorial and uh, if you still not subscribed go subscribe VFX World and don't forget to press that bell icon for the further notifications. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till then have fun stay healthy bye bye. So guys hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and as I always say that please comment like and don't forget to subscribe my channel and yes Thank you for supporting me and VFX World Cross 1K subscribers. This all thanks goes to you guys. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy. Have fun. Bye-bye.